Hi ladies, it's Dawn and I wanted to come on here and talk to you about some Halloween favorites. We're getting pretty close to Halloween and I really like Halloween time. I love the creepiness of um, where I live in the fall. Um, all the leaves start to blow off the trees and our fireplaces are going and we can smell the burning leaves in the air. Um, I live by a lot of farms so I can smell the pumpkins and just the smell of the decay of the earth. I know that sounds horrible, but it is a cozy smell to me. It smells so good. And I know it's just part of all of our seasons that God created. So I don't look at it from like an evil standpoint. I look at it as the natural progression of life. But I do really enjoy fall time and I like Halloween time too. My kids like it. You know, we usually just, my kids have always dressed up in just fun costumes and they do go trick or treating and things like that. My younger kids do and they're getting a little bit too old for that too. They're 12 and 14 now, but I love to watch the trick or treaters come to my door and see their cute little costumes. And um, so anyway, I just thought that I would make a video for you showing some Halloween favorites. And I dressed in black today and I've got on my bat earrings. I got these, I think I got these from like Steinmart and it came with a set of bats and ghosts. And I got them, I think last year or the year before, but they always have cute things like this around Halloween time. So anyways, I thought I would just jump right in and show you my Halloween favorites. But first of all, I wanted to tell you about something I've been binge watching and I found out about it from Shannon from Pages and Polish and it is the Netflix series, um, The Haunting of Hill House and it is so good. I really like it. It's just really good and it's so creepy. It's about a family who moves into a house that um, they're re renovating and it's kind of told from the family's perspective, they have five children, it's telling from each child's perspective as adults what they went through as kids, and there's some flashing back. It's so cool, and the characters are very engaging, and it's just a very enjoyable show to watch. And it's not too creepy, it's just spooky. At least what I've seen so far is just very spooky. Not, It's not like a slasher show or anything like that. So if you like shows like that, check out The Haunting of Hill House. The second thing would be it's not a clean product. My mom always brings Bath and Body Works. I see my mom once or twice a month and every time she comes she brings Bath and Body Works for my daughters and for myself. And so this time she brought Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I don't know if you could still get this one. I don't know if she shops the sales and then just brings things for us. But I do always like to have a special fragrance that I use maybe once or twice a week. And I've really enjoyed this one. It's got Shea, Shea Butter, Vitamin E. It's a shower gel just from Bath & Body Works. And it's really nice and it smells really good. So I've been enjoying this. I'm almost finished with it, so you'll see it in empties. Um, I'll put across the screen here, or if you can still get this one, I'll link it. But I've been really enjoying this this month. The next thing are hair products, and it's from Acure. I always use natural hair products. I feel like that is what allows my hair to stay really healthy and grow really long. Um, just having very clean ingredients in my hair products. And I really like this Argan Oil and Pumpkin Mega Moisture from Acure. And it doesn't really smell like pumpkin as much as I expected it to. It smells like sweet almonds to me, but it's very nice. It lathers up. A lot of these clean natural products don't really get a lather because they don't have sulfates in them. But this one does make my hair feel very clean. I only use it like once or twice a week um, because it, even though it's mega moisture, it's not as moisturizing as I like my conditioners to be. So I usually use this with a second conditioner, like a deeper conditioner, but I'm really enjoying the fragrance of this and I would repurchase it. So there's the Acure Mega Moisture Argan Oil and Pumpkin. The next thing is by Hemp's and you all know, I think if, if you've been watching me that this is a newer, it's a new brand to me. I never purchased the Hemp's products very much in the past, but I am in love with their moisturizers. And you can find 
fragrances that are not in the season at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're wonderful. They're very lovely. But if you want to get the latest fragrances that are seasonal, you'll have to go to Ulta or someplace like that. And I have the Hemp Cinnamon Sugar and Vanilla Bean Cream. I just got this little one and I really like it. It does have a cinnamon, cinnamon vanilla pumpkin scent. I keep it in my purse and I use it as my daily moisturizer on my hands and arms and chest and things like that. And I'm enjoying it very much. So if you get the opportunity to pick up a small one like this, they have this one and one other scent that I think is like a pumpkin scent too. And it's real, they're very, very nice. They're so moisturizing. If you want a really good one that still smells like a pumpkin scent or a fall scent, check out the Hemp's. They're at Ulta right now. And I think there's like a deal. Like if you buy one, you get one 50% off or get one free, something like that. So check it out. The next thing I've mentioned in many videos, I think it's really, really good. And I think it's comparable to the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. And this is by Andalou Naturals. It's their brightening formulation. Um, I had a kit and it had a sample of it about a year or two ago. I fell in love with this pumpkin enzyme mask and I've repurchased it. It's so lovely. What I like to do is on the nights that I take a bath, which is several times a week, I will I don't wash my hair on those nights, so I'll put this on my face after I wash off all my makeup, and of course, and I'll sit in the tub and let the enzymes just work to exfoliate my skin, and then I take a really warm rag and just put it on my face, and it's very luxurious. It's very, very nice. It does a great job at turn, getting off those dead skin cells that you're trying to turn over, and it does brighten up my skin, so I use this faithfully once or twice a week always. The next thing is something I've been loving a lot this fall and it is my Tartlet Toasted Palette and it's by Tarte and I did do a makeup tutorial or demo using this palette so I won't go on and on about it but this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. There's some deep they look like the leaves changing colors to me in this palette. They're just so beautiful. And Tarte's shadows are amazing and they're relatively clean. They're not as clean as like your Pacifica or Mineral Fusion, um, those kinds of brands, but they're, they're full of really good ingredients and not as many toxic bad ingredients. So check out the Tartlet Toasted Palette. The last thing is one of the last things. One of the last things is a lip crayon. I've been loving lip crayons so much this fall. I've been showing a lot of lip crayons from Burt's Bees and um, Axiology, but this one is from a company called Benecos. It's a clean, organic, natural company, and it's spelled B-E-N-E-C-O-S, and this is in the color Rusty Rose, which is a really nice, warm, peachy color or rose color for fall time. It's not a cool peach like you'd wear in the summer and spring. It looks really pretty with all the warm colors we wear in the fall season. And I got this from E Vitamins and it's a new brand I'm checking out that's clean. And I'm really loving this lip crayon. So check Benecos out if you haven't heard of the brand. It's really, really nice. Um, and the last thing, is a new fragrance. I purchased it in the sample size. It's by Philosophy and it's called Fresh Cream Pure Cashmere. And it's just a really, really nice scent. I really like La Vanilla's vanilla scent. And this is sort of a vanilla scent. It smells like cream. And the cashmere, I don't know, it has sort of like an amber or a sandalwood in it too. I'm not very good at telling notes and fragrances, so I'll look it up on Fragrantica and I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can know what the notes are in this or I'll link it in the description box. So anyway, those are my spooky Halloween favorites I wanted to share with you and they're just a few things to help get you in the mood for Halloween time and I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Have a blessed and beautiful day.